Hi there, this is Melanie Denham. I am a critical care nursing educator with the New Brunswick Critical Care Nursing Program, and we are continuing with the development of our preceptors by going through this short little presentation on what we're looking at for an ideal preceptor. So nurse preceptors are vital, vital, vital to serving as role models and resource persons to our novice nurses. They act as a coach and a mentor, and they help develop these novices into a strong practicing professional. Valuable preceptors socialize, protect, educate, and evaluate novice RNs as they make the transition into the critical care nursing environment. So some examples or characteristics of an ideal preceptor would be someone with enthusiasm, knowledge, uh, good communication skills, respectful, accessible, flexible, open to self-improvement and their own professional development, usually have a sense of humor, supportive, resourceful, organized, patient, and have an interest in teaching and sharing expertise. So have you ever witnessed uh, this preceptor? Just have a watch on YouTube and uh, have a little chuckle at what a less than ideal preceptor would look like. <laughs> so that was just a little quick quip on uh, probably someone we hopefully have not witnessed in our clinical setting, but it does happen from time to time, unfortunately. And here we have a nurse who just has their department is totally crashing and burning and um, he couldn't give a couldn't give a, a care in the world <laughs> into what is what. Everyone would love to have a supportive, nurturing preceptor where you would feel safe and uh, be able to draw from their knowledge base. So here's a in another video which would show you some of the characteristics I spoke about there a couple slides ago, about some characteristics, like revealing some characteristics of your ideal preceptor. So just have a watch on this YouTube video. It's just over a minute long, and uh, come back to me when you are done. Hopefully, yourself as a novice nurse or orientating into a unit had someone very similar to the uh, ideal preceptor that we just saw. And um, no pressure, but I would like some <laughs> some kind of version of that in uh, for our our critical care nursing students. So, best practices of effective preceptors. There's about three uh, good, really good practices. So, number one would be just general orientation, and this is to your unit, to your policies and procedures any equipment uh, and roles of your team members. Uh, another one would be teaching. So this is pretty much your see one, do one, and then get feedback from your precept, preceptor to your preceptee. So teaching and stressing of importance of documentation, using uh, theory to uh, progress into new skill development, and lead and develop preceptees into critically thinking skills and problem solving. And this teaching component is ranked number two, most important preceptor quali quality by preceptees. So this is the second thing they're looking for in their preceptor, is someone who can be an effective teacher. And um, the third one is feedback, um, support and encourage. So you are the expert. You're the person who knows everything that potentially could you could run into in the run of your day or know where to find the information if it is something that you haven't seen every day. Um, you would discuss how the shift went with the preceptee, uh, discuss what went well and what was challenged, uh, challenging for the preceptee and why, form a plan together to deal with the challenges for next time, and modify the support as their needs change or as revealed. So as they become more independent and become more aware of their environment and their their skills improve, then you don't have to be as um, right there beside them holding their hand, making sure they do everything correct. So you can 
you know, give them a little more leash, a little more leeway as their skills warrant that ability. And this is actually the number one ranked most important preceptorship quality that preceptees want. They need feedback, they need your support, they need your encouragement. And um, if they don't get feedback, then they really struggle with how they're doing and um, if what they're doing is up to snuff. So recogni recognition that this is normal as a novice. So new professionals describe feeling overwhelmed by the weight of responsibility for new roles, responsibilities, respo relationships, and ex expectations of knowledge application not previously experienced as a student. So in one word, they feel overwhelmed and um, do not want to, they don't want to feel that way and feel that everyone else is so competent that uh, they're they're a freak that nobody else has ever felt this way and say yeah yeah I can totally handle everything no problem so allowing the novice to recognize that it's very normal to feel overwhelmed and it is a factor for both the preceptor and the preceptee so this realization and validation of the preceptors or preceptee feelings and some encouragement and guidance from their preceptor will go a long way to build their confidence and skill um, and develop from a novice nurse into a uh, beginner. It's not uncommon for graduates to have an intense focus on trying to remember or recall all the details of the task that is in front of them. This often renders them unaware of what is happening around them. So I think that's very well evidenced <laughs> by this cat with a cone on its head where they seem to have a bit of tunnel vision. So an effective preceptor will recognize when the novice needs some redirection or, um, and, and this will hopefully help develop their critical thinking skills and their switch situational awareness of what's going on around them to get them to look a little bit beyond what's right in front of their face. And um, yeah, that's just a few little things that uh, we're looking for in a preceptor. We're looking for a supportive, um, nurturing, and, um, and, and a validation of uh, people's feelings and support to get them through that little hump of being a beginner or novice nurse. And here's some of my references, and I'll see you with the next slide.